Rational choice theory is a framework used in economics, sociology, and political science to explain how individuals make decisions. It assumes that people act rationally by weighing the costs and benefits of different options and choosing the one that maximizes their personal advantage. This decision making process is based on logic, available information, and self interest, rather than emotions or social influences. Rational choice theory is often applied to explain consumer behaviour, voting patterns and even crime, as it suggests that people calculate the potential rewards and consequences before taking action. While the theory simplifies human decision-making, it provides a structured way to understand choices in various fields. Rational choice theory has its roots in classical economics, particularly in the ideas of thinkers like Adam Smith, who emphasised that individuals act in their own self-interest to achieve economic efficiency. The theory was later developed in the 20th century by economists and social scientists who sought to apply mathematical models to decision-making. One major development was the introduction of game theory, which examines how individuals make strategic choices when their outcomes depend on the actions of others. Over time, rational choice theory expanded beyond economics into fields like political science and criminology where it is used to analyse behaviours such as voting, law enforcement and market competition. There are many real-world applications of rational choice theory. In economics, consumers decide which products to buy by comparing prices and quality to get the best value for their money. In politics, voters consider different policies and candidates before casting their votes based on what benefits them the most. Businesses also apply rational choice theory when setting prices or launching new products, as they aim to maximise profits by predicting customer behaviour. Even in criminal behaviour, rational choice theory is used to explain why individuals commit crimes, suggesting that they weigh the potential risks and rewards before breaking the law. These examples show how the theory can be applied across different aspects of society. One strength of rational choice theory is its logical and structured approach to decision-making. By assuming that people make choices based on costs and benefits, it allows researchers to predict behaviour in economic and social contexts. Another strength is its versatility, as it can be applied to various fields, from economics to political science and even criminology. Additionally, rational choice theory provides a foundation for creating policies and strategies, such as designing incentives to encourage certain behaviours, like tax breaks for businesses, or rewards for academic achievement. These strengths make it a widely used and influential theory in understanding human decision-making. Despite its usefulness, rational choice theory has several weaknesses. One major criticism is that it assumes people always act logically and in their own self-interest, when in reality, emotions, habits and social influences often affect decision-making. Another weakness is that it does not always account for situations where people have incomplete or incorrect information, which can lead to irrational choices. Additionally, in complex social situations, decision-making is influenced by cultural values, ethical concerns and group dynamics, which rational choice theory tends to oversimplify. These limitations show that while the theory is helpful, it does not fully capture the complexity of human behaviour. An alternative to rational choice theory is bounded rationality, which suggests that while people aim to make rational decisions, their choices are limited by cognitive limitations, time constraints, and incomplete information. Instead of always selecting the best possible outcome, individuals often settle for a choice that is good enough, known as satisficing. This approach recognises that decision-making is not always perfectly logical and takes into account human limitations. Bounded rationality is often considered a more realistic model, as it explains why people sometimes make impulsive, habitual, or emotionally driven choices instead of purely rational ones.